It's called the Mayan Riviera, and while the massive development of hotels and infrastructure has provided many jobs, the natural habitat has been severely affected. On the nearby island of Cozumel, development is less, but still impacts the vital habitat for migrating birds and some endemic mammals. One of these is the critically endangered Cozumel raccoon or pygmy raccoon. Now one would think that a critically endangered animal would be difficult to see, but it is a raccoon after all. It's been calculated that this unique raccoon has been separate from the northern raccoon for 26 to 69,000 years. There have been some changes. It is much smaller than the northern raccoon and has a black throat band, fewer teeth, and a nice golden tail. Cozumel raccoons seem to be as curious and troublesome as others. There may be only 250 of these miniature raccoons left in the world. Habitat destruction for more hotels, predation by dogs, and diseases from domestic animals are their main threats. Cars kill them too. Their preferred habitat is in mangrove swamps. Unfortunately, the island's sewage treatment plant is located here too. Not the best neighbor for an animal that uses olfaction to find its food. Another problem is raccoon's propensity to feed on people's leftovers and garbage. They have become very adept at locating where people stash their snacks. Don't touch, it's a wild animal. It's best just to take pictures. Feeding wild animals is a really bad idea. Their guts are not adapted to eat people's junk food. Not that it's good for us, but it's really bad for wild animals. While most local people on Cozumel know about their unique raccoon, more education is needed. Be 